Hi. Hi there. Um, right, we've come down to uh, our storage uh, site. Um, basically to um, do a few checks on the caravan since we used it last uh, in September um, because we haven't been down here since, unfortunately. And also to um, get ready for winter. We were hoping to go away before the end of the year, but unfortunately life has taken over as usual. And uh, happen, did it? <laughs> no, I don't think it's been a chance. So yeah. we've used this we've used this chance to sort of come down and uh, and get her ready for winter. On a dry day. Sorry. <laughs> on a dry day. On a beautiful and dry day, as you can <laughs> see. Look, it's absolutely glorious out there at the moment. So it would have been lovely to have a weekend away this weekend down there. Sorry, um, but unfortunately, such is life. Um, so as I say, we we know um, not a few much more experienced caravanners than us out there. Um, I've got your own ways of putting your caravan ready for the winter and uh, uh, but we thought we'll show you how we do it um, we uh, we go a bit over the top don't we on the humidifiers because yeah, we do actually. this is a bit of an this is not well, it nearly 12 year old now this is the end of its 11th year yeah 12 years. seems to have worked so far so yeah. far we seem to be lucky we've uh the, the the caravan's dry we've it's been sitting in storage now for what five weeks or so mm -hmm. come in it small smells nice and fresh in here which is great um we've got no leaks that we can see uh we did have one in the window at the front along the top there but uh, seems to have sorted itself out um but yeah that seems to have gone um did a little repair put some sealant along the top of the window and that seems to have gone now <clears throat> so we've come down here we've um we used to use uh those tablet things didn't we the big tablet yeah with the, when with we the... first started we did didn't we yeah uh they were about 15 quid for two though weren't they yeah, they're really expensive. Wasn't but we uh, and then we saw someone else's uh, video, and we saw these also. In, so we now use whoops, in the Asda's own, aren't we? We use the Asda's. Um, if you can see that, the advice. And actually, these have got a lavender scent. Mm, so it's even better, then, isn't it? So that'd be nice. Mm. Uh, what we tend to also do is uh, with those is we tend to put them in the. The cupboards, the cupboard spaces, and also underneath the the seats, um, in the wardrobes, um, a lot of the enclosed bathroom, bathroom cabinets, um, in the wardrobe in the bathroom at the back, don't we? Mm -hmm. So far, it seems to work. Yeah, because they're sealed. Have a problem with it, have we? But we also then tend to um, leave some salt out as well. Use just cooking ordinary cooking salt, which that is back to front, as you can see. <laughs> uh, cheap way of doing it though, with some it? of these foil trays and we tend to leave those around the open sorry the open spaces um along the window ledges along the cabinets um and on a couple of shelves so we do go a bit ott um that's a cheap way of doing it isn't it really yeah, i mean yeah. cheap enough so the the lavender things are four of three pounds for four uh, the salt only costs us one pound fifty. So cheap enough. Isn't it? And if, I don't know if it's even as much as that. Actually, I can't remember. Didn't know. Yeah. Um, and the four trays are a pound. Um, so really, we'd 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 we've got as much hopefully coverage mm. as we would do with um mm. one set of these two. I'm trying to remember whether we did we come up twice last in the last winter or not yeah we uh, we changed them i can't remember if we did or we not, did yeah we had a problem we last year because of course we had what we had to uh looking after um uh we couldn't get up the last winter as much as we would normally do we tend to like to get up here to the mm. caravan about every sort of well, about every three or four weeks mm. just to check it over i'm just trying to well, i'm just wondering how long they last they should trying. be all right they lasted last year okay yeah, but did um, we get two lots or one lot? Yeah, we did change them over yeah. once. The other thing, of course, which uh, which we, we, we're a bit unusual because the site we stay on is um, a 
um, has a storage facility. So, we're, and you're not allowed access to where they actually store the caravans, they store them themselves. So if you need to come up to the caravan, you actually have to put it onto, um, they put it into a compound, or mm. actually today they've put it onto the site for us, which is nice. Um, but what we what we tend to do with the tyres, because of course that's one of the other things, is that uh, we don't have tyres um, uh, guards on the tyres for uh, when they've been, for, it's been sitting, but we we because we come up here every four or five weeks, they generally move the caravan for mm. us. So we check the tyres. So hopefully that's uh, when we first bought the caravan. That's that was quite a good way of doing it, um, just to make sure the caravan wheels are turned every so often. It seems to have been okay so far. We've it? worked on that system now for the last three years. We haven't had a problem. We've not had a problem, no. Too. When we was at our other storage site, we just used to literally just move mm. the caravan uh, forward either a quarter, half turn on the wheels just to make sure that they weren't sitting on the and causing a flat spot. But here, we don't have access to the caravan while it's actually in the storage thing, do we? No. So we just come up here every three or four weeks, get them to move it, put it back, gets the thing, everything moving, keeps everything moving. Which is actually quite a nice thing, actually. I think I don't think that's a problem, really. So, um, well, as you said, we haven't had any damp or anything. Well, damp is the big thing. Good. Yeah. Um, really. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and do uh, our bit. Um, put these all in. Then um, probably take Madam for a walk. Take Madam. Yeah. Look, she's yeah, well, she's actually yeah. look excited. She is. Look, excuse the mess so in the van. Hattie. Hattie. No, we don't want you going in my car. There she is. There's the girl. She's already been for one walk. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Mother paws everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> but but um, yeah, she's she's you know. looking for treats in Mum's bag. Mum's no, bucket. Hattie, come come on, come on, darling. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, you no, can say hello. Go out in a <laughs> okay. yeah. So we're gonna take her around. That's one of the nice things about having. <laughs> 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 Little is getting, little is getting a bit impatient, as you can see, so we better get going. We will speak to you later and see you again. As I say, hope, hope you all have a good uh, a winter, and those of you who are going away, stay safe, and we will see you all soon. So, bye for bye. now. Bye.